What's up YouTube, it's Jacko Goldkick, and I'm here with Kadeem the King, and we're going to be doing a video collaboration talking about how we discovered the rapper Hobson. So this was years ago, I can't remember the specific year, probably was 2012, but it was in the 2010s. This was back when I lived at the trailer, which is the area you see me live at, in my 2013 to 2017 era run of my YouTube channel. I had an Xbox 360 at the time, I used Xbox Live, and so did my brother, and someone told my brother on Xbox Live to check out these two rappers, MGK and Hobson. He told him to recommend these two rappers. Um, I can't remember the specific songs, but he said to check out MGK and Hobson. And this is when MGK and Hobson were big in the 2010s and they you know, had some popularity and they were in their prime. So I remember, we were, this was in the 2010s, I can't remember the specific year, but it was probably 2012, I had to guess, because of one of the songs that came out in 2012 I'm gonna mention, but I was in the living room of the trailer, and so was my brother, and YouTube was pulled up on the TV in the living room, and the Xbox 360 was hooked up to the TV, and the first thing we listened to was Chip Off the Block by MGK, which that is a pretty good song. It's got a really good beat, really good fast rapping by MGK. That's a really good song that he did. That was back when MGK, I didn't mind it before he became a weirdo and we found out he was a pedophile, but I, that, that was a good song by MGK. And then after that, the next song that we checked out was Ill Mind of Hobson 4 by the rapper Hobson. And that's how I first discovered the rapper Hobson. That's the first thing I heard and seen by the rapper Hobson. That's how I discovered him. And I remember liking the song and you know being reminded, uh, being reminded of Eminem by hearing it. And then that's how I discovered Hobson and was, you know was intrigued and checked out the rest of his stuff. I heard various songs. My brother, my brother was a fan of him. My mom was a fan of him. His music was played around me. You know, I heard. Blood Energy Potion, Sag My Pants, Kill Her. But the main stuff I listened to from Hobson was the Gazing at the Moonlight album and like the Gazing at the Moonlight era of Hobson. That's the main stuff I listened to. Like Motherfucker, the music video, you know, Pans in the Kitchen, uh, I'm Here, Break It Down. You know, that's that's that was like the main stuff I listened to a lot after I discovered Hobson for Ilman and Hobson 4. And that's why Gazing at the Moonlight era is nostalgia for me and that's why still that's my favorite like album and era of Hobson maybe besides his emergent LAUSD result stuff because when I first discovered Hobson which was through Illmind and Hobson 4 I really dug into the Gazing at the Moonlight album by Hobson and that era of Hobson itself and I listened to that era of Hobson a lot as well that's when I really got into him and really became a fan of him and back when I first discovered him that was the era of Hobson I listened to the most and that was the album I listened to the most by him um, so, yeah, I overall think he was a dope rapper. He's basically like a black Eminem, and he was, you know, similar to Eminem, and he was a very good rapper and a talented rapper. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I discovered Hobson because because I discovered Hobson, I was able to discover Novi Novak, somebody he this, who was also another good rapper that I found as well. So there's not much more else I got to say, but that's pretty much how I discovered the rapper Hobson. He's a very talented rapper. Um, now you're going to see Kadeem the King's part of him talking about how he discovered the rapper Hobson. So that's pretty much all there is for me in this video. Uh, I don't know how to end this, so peace. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Cutting the King. First off, before we get into the video... Get it, get this video a like, subscribe, share the video, man, and shout out to the homie Jack of Gold Kick for allowing me to be on his platform, man. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, you see the motherfucking title. How I got introduced, how we got introduced to Hobson, man. Oh, um, well, let's go way back. Y'all know how I do it. So, the year is 2007. And all I know is every fucking day is some bubblegum rap on a fucking radio and my ears are being are bleeding, literally bleeding because of this shit. Because this is all that's on the radio. Mind you, we didn't have a motherfucking, you know, you know, if you had an MP3 player and, and a computer, you was good. But shit, most of us didn't have that shit. Motherfucker, most of us didn't have a fucking um I had a CD player, but that shit got broke. Feel me? So I couldn't really hear what the fuck I wanted to hear. But anyway, it's 07. Hey, thing is just, Soldier Boy, Penny, oh, aren't you cranking rough you up? 
And I'm like, oh my God, this has to be the worst fucking uh, era of music we was in. Because it wasn't just Soulja Boy. It was a bunch of... Bu- he was the face of all that shit. But it was a lot more bubblegum bullshit on the radio. You had Lil Mama. You had motherfucking uh, just stupid people on the damn radio. So it's like 2007 and it's about to be like 2008. You know, and you see Hobson, you know, he posting, making his little, you know, diaries, you know, ill minds and shit. Before he had the video series, he had, like, MySpace, you know, ill minds and shit. I used to sneak on there and see the shit, you know, sometimes. I wasn't a fan of Hobson. I didn't know who the fuck he was. I just thought he was some weird-ass dude that was making these damn poems about his, and his, you know, whatever was going on in his life at the time. You know, the ruthless deal. You know, he was talking a lot about Ruthless and all that shit and how they fucked him over and how he couldn't wait to get out the deal, right? So, you know, ain't nobody paying attention like that. I was a little bit, but not like, oh, this is Hobson. Now, mind you, fast forward, it's like 2008, right? And and at this time, I'm just searching online for new shit, for new, you know, music-wise, you know, hip-hop and all that shit. So, as I'm searching... I see Dat Piff, and I see a mixtape that says it was like new mixtapes or new, uh, you know, new artists and shit, right? And it was Hobson and it was Swizz, and it's a Haywire Funk Volume or some shit like that, right? I click on it, and the first song I click on, because I, I, I look at the names, you know, the names of the song to see if I would like it. So I'm like, it's all good now. And then I heard that, and I was like, oh, my God, this dude hops. This is whoever this dude is. I didn't know he was hopsing at the time until Raw came out. Now, that was the first time I ever heard Hopson. Was, it was, it's all good now. Now, fast forward, 2009. It was a big-ass press run. Um, Ruthless wasn't really doing shit with Hop, but he was still on Ruthless, and people kind of knew. You kind of knew, because you would see billboards here and there, but... Tamika Wright was just terrible with just her business. That's just in my opinion. But anyway, so you start to see Hobson and gazing at the moonlight. You know, my cousin always had like uh, shit that no one else had. Like he had gazing at the moonlight. I'm like, who the fuck is this? He like a dude named Hobson. He wear contacts and shit. I'm listening to it. And the other song I heard was gazing at the moonlight. The devil comes close to me. So y'all know that song. I heard that, and I was like, this dude is dope. He's a little conscious. Then I heard Sexy Cyber, and that was when I was like, well, who the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? After I heard Sexy Cyber, I was like, this dude is amazing. So, fast forward, 2010. And the reason why we have to say all these years and dates is because I didn't know Hobson Hobson until Raw came out, right? I wasn't a fan until Raw came out. So, he's going through this little promotion thing, and he's like, man... You know, he was telling everybody, like, yeah, man, I can't wait to get my album out raw. Man, fuck Ruthless. You know, he was on this fuck Ruthless thing then. So, I'm like, cool. This dude is doing a lot of good-ass promo. So, I bought the album. The album was, I bullshit you not, it was $15.99. $15.99. A regular fucking, uh, that was a regular CD cost at the time in stores. And he had that online. So, I bought it. My mama gave me, like, an allowance back in the day for, like, $20 a week. Not not, not that big. You know, sometimes she would. Sometimes she wouldn't because i get in trouble, fight somebody, you know, get suspended. You know, some shit, talking shit to somebody, and then they get, you know, get in their feelings and start crying. So, she didn't always do it. But this particular week, she did. And I, and I bought Raw. And it was a weird way to pay because you had to pay, actually, you had to actually pay Hobson. You know what I'm saying? You had to pay Hobson for the video. I am I mean, for the, uh, for the damn album and shit, right? And you paid his, his uh, PayPal. And that was the first, like, internet interaction I did. I was like, wow, this is dope, man. This shit is dope. And then I listened to the whole album. And then I was like, Hobson has to be one of the best fucking rappers underground I've ever heard, you know, and to me, Hobson is, he's one of the best rappers ever, if he can tap into that, into that potential that we know that he still has, he would be amazing, man, but anyway, 
that's my uh introduction to Hobson, man. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Give it a like, subscribe, share the video, man. And sorry for taking up all the time, JGK. I'm out.